Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to send Telegram group invitation link for Razorpay payment. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a Razorpay payment for a specific product, then I want to send a chat invitation link to that person through Gmail. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be Razorpay and my action applications will be Telegram and Gmail. So if you want to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to send chat invitation link to user for Razorpay payment. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a payment for a specific course, so here let's assume the course as PHP programming course, then I want to send a chat invitation link to user for Telegram. So here I'm sending the link through Gmail. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So this here is the landing page of Pabli Connect. And now as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. Now this here is the all applications page by Pabli. So here I will go to Pabli Connect and click on access now to reach my dashboard. So this here is my dashboard and now to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I need to give my workflow a name. So I have named it as send chat invitation link to user for Razorpay payment. And on my left hand side, you can see these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as telegram. And now here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I have arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of your trigger application and in a workflow, you can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to send chat invitation link to user for Razorpay payment. So now moving to my trigger window, as I want to send chat invitation link to the user for a Razorpay payment. So here Razorpay will be my trigger application. So here it is. And now the trigger event will be payment captured. So it will start working whenever the status of the payment will be changed to capture. So now moving ahead with this, as I want to send a chat invitation link to that user. So here I'm sending this chat invitation link for Telegram. So here I'm searching Telegram. And now the action event will be to create chat invite link. So now I've selected my first action application moving to this add action step. As I'm sending the chat invite link by using Gmail. So here Gmail will be my action application. And now the action event will be to send email. So here you can see that I have selected my action applications and my trigger application. So my objective is to send chat invitation link to user for Razorpay payment. So as I've mentioned that we are setting this automation for a specific product. So here the specific product is a PHP programming course. So now once a person will buy that course, then automatically a chat invite link will be sent to that person through Gmail. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to take you ahead. So here in my trigger window, firstly, I need to establish a connection between Razorpay and Pabli Connect. So in order to do that, here a webhook URL is given and along with that, this help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this webhook URL will act as a bridge to connect Razorpay with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my Razorpay account and over here I will go to account and settings and in account and settings I will go to webhooks and here in webhooks I'm going to add a new webhook. So now over here in the webhook URL section here from Pabli Connect I'm going to copy the webhook URL and now I'm going to paste it. So now moving to the active events part. So that is to be payment captured. So I've selected the payment event and now here I'm going to click on create webhook. So here you can see that the webhook saved successfully and this here is our webhook that we have just created. So now moving back to Pabli Connect. So now here you can see it is waiting for a webhook response. Now that means now I need to do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. 
So now to do a test submission, I'm going to take you to the payment page. So here is the program description and the name of the product. So the name of the product goes as PHP programming course. Here is the program description. It says join telegram group for more updates. Please note that this link will expire within seven days of your purchase. This is a one time link. Only one member can join. So this link will be shared through Gmail. So now in order to go with the process, here I'm going to select the course as PHP programming course. I'm going to mention the first name as dummy, last name as user. Here I've mentioned a email and now I'm going to mention a dummy phone number. So now over here you can see I've mentioned the payment details. Here I'm going to click on pay. So as this is a test mode, I'm going to do a dummy payment. So here I'm going to mention a dummy card number and now a dummy expiry date. Now the cardholder name will be demo user and our dummy CVV. So here I'm going to pay now. And here I'm going to mention a dummy OTP and now I'm going to click on submit. And the payment is successful. So the payment for this course was rupees 500 as I was in test mode. So here the payment is successful. So now the test payment which I've just made would have been captured in Pabli Connect. And here you can see I have received a response. Here is the order ID. Here is the status as captured. Here is the phone number. Here is the name. And here is the email ID along with the product name. So the product name is PHP programming course. So here I've got the test payment details in Pabli Connect. So the first step of this automation is set up. That means now whenever there will be a new payment made in Razorpay, then automatically that payment will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. But as I've already specified that I am setting up this automation for this specific course by the name of PHP programming course. So in order to specify this condition, I need to mention it in this workflow. So I'm going to click on this add action step. And now here I'm going to use filter. So by using filter by Pabli, it will permit me to set up a condition that will be that this automation should only run for the course that is PHP programming course. So now here I'm going to click on connect. And here from this select label part, I'm going to search for the name of the course and I've mentioned it. So now I'm going to copy the same name of the course and here in filter by Pabli, I'm going to paste the same. So here I've mentioned the label as the name of the course and the filter type as equal to and the value is also the name of the course. So that means this filter is set up for this particular course only that is by the name of PHP programming course. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that the condition is true because the test payment which I've just made was for this course that is PHP programming course. So if there will be any another payment in Razorpay that will not get captured over here because of this filter condition. So now moving ahead. So as I want to send this chat invitation link to this user. So in order to do that, firstly, I need to create a chat invite link. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I need to mention the token. So read the steps given below carefully because this will help you to get a token which you have to mention it over here in Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my Telegram account and here I'm going to search for Botfather. So as specified in Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on start. And now as I want to create a new bot, here I will click on this. And now I need to choose a name for my bot. So I'm choosing it as Razorpay New Bot. Now I need to select a username. So it should be in this format, which should consist of bot in the end. So I'm keeping it as new Razorpay underscore bot. So here you can see it says done. Congratulations on your new bot. So you can find your bot with this link. So I'm going to bring this bot into my conversations. Here I'm going to click on start. Again, going back to bot father. So here, this is the token that is given. So I'm going to copy the same and in Pabli connect, I'm going to paste it. And now I'm going to click on save. So here you can see that telegram bot and Pabli connect is successfully connected. 
so now moving to the chat id part so here i need to select the chat id for the group so here in telegram this is the group which i have created so now firstly before moving ahead i'm going to add this bot also as one of the members so let me add the bot first so now to move ahead as you can see i've added the bot over here in this group so here i'm going to give this bot the admin access so i'm doing this process with the help of my phone so here i've added the bot as the admin by using my mobile phone you can also do the same so now here in public connect as i need to mention the chat id so this here is the chat id for my group so i'm going to copy the same from this url and now here in public connect i'm going to paste it so now moving to the expiry date here i need to mention the date and time like when the link will expire so now here i need to provide the time in unix timestamp that when the link will expire so now as we don't have the time in unix timestamp so to do that here i'm going to click on this add action step and now i'm going to search for date and time for matter so here as i've mentioned that please note that this link will expire within 7 days of your purchase so that means whenever a person is going to buy this particular course then the chat invitation link will be active for only one week so now moving to the date format select format in which you want to convert the current date so as i want to convert it into the timestamp format that is unix so here i'm going to select it as timestamp so now the time zone will be asia kolkata so here i'm searching for it and i'm selecting it so now the operation will be add and the unit will be days i want the link to get expired so now here i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that i have received the response in unix format so here in this action step of mine for the telegram bot here i'm going to map the expiry date so basically mapping is to insert the data from previous step so here i'm going to map the expiry date in the unix timestamp so once this is done here i'm not specifying the member limit if you want to do that you can select the member limit as per this example that is given so now here i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that this is the invite link that has been created for this test person who has just bought this course so now i want to send the same link to this person so remember this that every time whenever this workflow is going to run a new link will be generated so that will ensure that by clicking on this link only one person can add it to that group chat so now moving ahead as i want to send this chat invitation link via gmail so i need to establish a connection between gmail and public connect so here i'm going to click on connect and now i'm going to add a new connection and here i'm going to click on connect with gmail so here i've selected my account and now i'm going to click on continue as this is a secure access and here you can see that the authorization was successful so now moving to these details here i need to mention the email address where i want to send this chat invitation so from the response received i'm going to map the email address moving to the sender name that will be php so here i'm going to mention the sender name as php so here i've mentioned the email subject as join telegram group and this here is the email content that i've framed already so here after hello i want to mention the name of the person who has just made the payment so again from the response received i'm going to map the name so once this is done so here after this sentence that is you can join a community on telegram with this invite link so here i'm going to map the chat invite link now once this is done this here is the note please note that this link will expire within 7 days of your purchase this is a one time link only one member can join regards so this is the email content which i have framed so as here you can see that i have mapped the name and i've mapped the invite link so this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with new data so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields if i would have written this information manually in that case this information would have become static which means that it wouldn't change even if i would have received a new response so to avoid that problem we map so as i have mapped the details here i'm simply going to click on save and send test request and this here the status is sent that means that means a chat invitation would have been sent on this email that i have mapped so now i'm going to take you to the email so this here is the email which has been sent and this here is the chat invitation link 
So as I'm going to click on this link. So here you can see that it says you are invited to a group chat on Telegram. Click to join. So as soon as the person is going to click on join group, then so then automatically the person will be added to this Telegram group that is by the name of PHP code. So this automation and integration is a successful one. That means now whenever a new payment will be captured in Razorpay for a specific course, then automatically a chat link will be created for that user and will be sent through Gmail. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at directpabli.com. And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.